Guess what? Will we get to go sailing? <laughs> George, you were awesome. All right, today is the day. It is leaving day from Georgetown. I really don't think we ever thought we would be here this long or what would happen when we got here. This whole COVID nonsense. So we have decided to leave still and we're heading to Puerto Rico. I think it's pretty rare for the winds to be optimal to get to Puerto Rico. That's like southeast called the Thorny Path. Should be really difficult, but the current weather window looks so. It doesn't hurt to head south. And during this weather window, we can't really pass it up since we've been here for almost three weeks. The weather has just been, or the wind has just been east. So to see this coming through uh, is really rare in here. So we've decided to start our southern exit. Yeah. <laughs> Our journey takes us from the busy and coral-infested Elizabeth Harbor of Georgetown out into this short little beautiful flat calm sea around Long Island and we're going to cut south of rum out the Atlantic and for several days cruise along these island chains all the way down into Puerto Rico. Well, this is a hell of a start to our longer passage. The, the wind is like ideal. It's like 10 knots on the beam. We're doing five and a half knots. We have our new, our new head sail. I think we're calling her Minnie because she's still a Genoa, but she's smaller. So her name is Minnie by UK Sailmakers. First time we're flying her and like already you could see an improvement. We had to get up wind to get out of uh, Georgetown Harbor, Elizabeth Harbor and for the same wind, wind angle, speed, we are healing less, there's less weather helm. Uh, it is so much better. And we're just going over the reefs as we exit Elizabeth Harbor. So we decided we're gonna set a line out. So tell us about the fishing. We are putting out Mr. Blue because last time we put out Mr. Blue, it caught us the Spanish mackerel. Not. And that shit was <laughs> delicious. It made a great fish taco lunch. And it didn't catch a barracuda, which is what the wooden one does, which everyone recommends, but I don't want a barracuda again, so I'm afraid to put that one out again. So it's like a quarter to 11 local time. So we have about an hour till lunch. So come on fish, just hop right on. Yeah. All right, well next we'll raise the mizzen, kind of tidy up our fishing stuff. Yeah, we're on a good cruise today. And the wind's supposed to be like this for a while. Uh, well, until maybe like 6 p.m. And then I think we're gonna get like four or almost six hours of just like a complete lull, like nothing. So we'll be drifting around. But then around midnight, uh, kind of a mini front hits us and the wind fills in again. And we should be rocketing south, east. Definitely in awe how amazing the sail has been just like right at the get-go. We get great weather, it's like flat seas. This uh, this feels surreal. We did a lot of work to get down here, like the sea conditions were pretty tough being down here. So this feels like a very welcoming exit to Georgetown. Having these really beautiful calm conditions. So I'm sure that will change. We have a lot of days out here, but uh, I'm just really thankful for when it's nice. Makes it super pleasant. Glorious. Okay, it's time to make up some new fishing gear. So we only made like one um, bungee and then like a fish, a hand fishing line. So I'm gonna make another one so we can have two going out the back. So what I do to make a bungee is I get some like paracord material and then some bungee material and I do a restrictor knot and then just wrap it around and then do another restrictor knot at the other end, and then I'm gonna 
feed one of these guys through with a knot. And then we have uh, some big monofilament that will uh, use some crimpers. We have some crimpers here to crimp on. So yeah, let's get that done so we can get another line out. What happened? I got tangled trying to make this new hand line. And for whatever reason, all this monofilament just like bunched up. So uh, I just have to sit here and untangle it, knot by knot. All right, so I made up another hand line. So it has a long bungee and then a bunch of monofilament. Uh, crimped on a connector, a swivel connector. And then we're gonna try this lure. Uh, so Amanda bought this one and holy crap is it huge. Like I can't imagine the thing that's gonna try to eat this. We'll see. So yeah. <laughs> Two lines. You know what happens? So we have this shorter line. It's just maybe like a boat and a half length. And then this longer one is oh, almost double that. So. I think we got a fish. Oh my goodness, what could it be? Oh, I think it's a barracuda. I think that's a barracuda. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, for sure. For those teeth. Yeah, that's very Dang it! Yep, I know. I know. Got him! Got it? Yep. Bahama Mama. Here you go, Bahama Mama. Until next time. Better not catch another cuda. Um, we're not getting skinny. Nope. We just heated up some leftovers. We have some unmeatloaf, unmeatloaf, meatloaf, and instant mashed potatoes. So the meatloaf is just actually beans, which is really freaking good. And then those mashed potatoes are they're like the instant. I just did it for the first time myself. Holy cow, I didn't know how easy that was. Boil two cups of water, pour it all in with the powdered shit, and bam, you get like perfectly good mashed potatoes. We were hoping to get a fish so we wouldn't have to make anything, but eh, this is still good. And as far as the sailing situation goes, um, we're not doing too much sailing at the moment. The winds, as predicted, died out to almost nothing. They're starting to kind of come back now. We're just kind of motoring now to the wind more or less get south of Rum K. The wind's supposed to shift around after we hit Rum and we should have a good sail after that. Okay, so this is probably the most embarrassing thing on my watch that could happen. I thought the wind was finally shifting. I go down to the nav station to check the chart and I was like, huh, I think Darren must have um, changed the direction of but the orientation that it's displaying at, it's not showing north up anymore, and that's weird, but oh well. Then I come out here, roll out our new head sail, and I'm like, huh, that's weird, it's starting to loft. And then all of a sudden we, were at, we went from 120 to like 320 or something, and I was like, wait, what? And then I saw that our Autopilot had gone on standby again, and I had no idea, and went back to the same heading, and it turns out the wind hasn't shifted, and we are still motoring, and I had to roll in the jenny again, but I am prepared. The new head tail is super easy to pull in by myself, uh, and that was great, so uh, I think I'm ready for when the wind does shift be in about an hour. Hey, good morning everyone. So I'm almost done with my night shift. It's like five in the morning and Amanda's about to take over to, for the next three hours until 8 a.m. So she'll get a good sunrise shift. 
anyway, my shift has been pretty good so far. When I got off shift, my last one, we were motoring, it was dead calm, had the head sail furled in, and then I woke up to like 18, 20 knots on the nose, bigger seas, and a ton of heel. So it was an abrupt change from when I went to sleep. So anyway, when I took over that, uh, things have kind of calmed down since. The winds are now 15 to like 12 to 15 knots, more on the beam now. Kind of let some sail out, furled in first reef of the, the head sail. I think this shift we probably averaged seven and a half knots. I haven't seen below seven in a long time. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, and it's fairly comfortable, which is amazing. This is a really rad boat. Well, I think I luck out and get the best shift of the night in today. I got to see my shift go from the Milky Way to the sunrise, and it was really consistent winds. I can't ask for a better shift in that regard compared to my other shift which started out motoring and then crazy wind shift, um, higher wind, or autopilot turning off. Um, but this one, she didn't do that this time to me and I'm just doing six knots and anywhere from like 10 to 15 knots of wind. It's been a great shift and a beautiful sunrise. The sea state and the waves have been a little weird, but the, uh, the wind has been solid, so it'll be able to sail non-stop and make it good, good speed. So hopefully it'll stay like this tonight, and tomorrow we expect the wind to shift uh, kind of to our other uh, tack, so we'll be jiving tomorrow, and then we should stay on that uh, port side tack for the remainder of the trip. Tell us, Panda, tell us how you feel. Feel meh, so-so. I woke up with a headache. I was fine throughout the night, and then all of a sudden, my last break, I took a snooze, and I woke up with a headache, and my stomach felt all weird after I ate some bread, so I don't know what's wrong with me. I took Tums, I took ibuprofen. I'm starting to feel a little better, but we'll see. It feels like a hangover, and I didn't even, like, drink. I think it's the motion of the ocean. Yeah, no, it's a bummer. Um, I think it'll go away after the day. Like, my seasickness comes more out during the day. Like, at night, I feel a lot better because, I, the sun hurts. Maybe because it's cooler? No, because I can't. Like, the darkness, it helps my eyes. <laughs> So Panda is actually a bat. She likes the darkness. I um, was born in it. I was <laughs> molded by it. Molded by it. I was born in it. Molded by it. So we're downwind sailing now. We haven't set up that pole in a while, actually. It's been a year or so. I think the last yeah. time we sailed down to Fort Lauderdale, we set it up on a downwind run just for like a day. So but I was trying to shake the rust off of how everything is supposed to be set up uh, and prevent our lines on our um, mizzen and a main as well, so. So we have wing on wing on wing way down there. The, the main sail, or sorry, the head sail is kind of luffing a little. I don't know if it's because 
that we have the mizzen up if it's really blocking the wind there. It seems highly unlikely, but we could always drop the mizzen and find out. But nonetheless, we're doing like five knots, dead downwind with about eight knots apparent. All right, that completes night two of this five or six day passage. This uh, night was pretty slow, so it might be like six. We had set up the boat to go downwind, but uh, shortly after the sunset, the wind died and just going downwind, um, we were barely making any headway and the sails were starting to flap and that's not good over a long period of time. So we brought in the sails, turned on the motor and motored. But luckily around 3 a.m. this morning, the wind kind of came back a little bit, enough to kind of ghost along. And that's what we're doing now. We've been doing like three and a half to four knots. Wind's on the beam. So yeah, it's not bad. The sun's about to rise. Amanda is here, ready to take over shift. And I'm gonna go to bed and have a uh, Good sleep. Yep. And then we will return tomorrow where we should have more light winds. The winds should shift now. Uh, so we essentially should be jibing at some point. Um, and we might try a spinnaker. So we'll see. Stay tuned. My eyes, I saw the sun. Freaking Eva, let me down again. Say no to Cuda. And on the middle of the ocean, a little can of oil with a bird just floating on it. 